Hey AI, I'm recording a YouTube video. Would you please say hello to our audience? Hello everyone. It's great to be here and I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. So hello for me as well. In this video, I want to show you a short walkthrough of Org AI, an Emacs package that integrates Emacs with the OpenAI API and with Chat GPT and all E. It builds on that to make Emacs, at least in my opinion, an even more useful tool. You have already seen the AI special blocks that encapsulate a chat conversation. Those are somewhat inspired by uh, the bubble source blocks that you can evaluate uh, to run source code inside an org mode buffer, and uh, they basically work the same way. So you have a block, and inside of that block, you have different parts that represent the different worlds in the conversation. You can set a system prompt to prime the chatbot uh, to act in a certain way. And then uh, everything that's prefixed with me is your input. And uh, then when you send that to open AI, the bot will, uh, the bot response will be inserted uh, be below and uh, you can then uh, continue to type. There are a number of shortcuts available. So for example, uh, if you want to delete uh, parts of the chat, uh, control C backspace, uh, will quickly allow you to uh, delete the chat part that is under the cursor. You can also set uh, various options. Uh, for example, if you want to make the uh, response very short, we can, uh, for example, set the max token uh, header here, uh, set it to a low value or a large value or whatever you like. There are other options available. Uh, please see the documentation for that. Speech input and output is available as well. In an org AI block, I can press Ctrl CR, please tell me a joke, to transcribe something I say. And uh, then when I press any key, it will be sent as the input. Um, you can also enable uh, speech output. Please tell me another joke. Sure. Here's another one. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. And uh, this is basically a way you can have more or less a conversation with your Emacs. Even though it's called Org AI, there are actually a number of useful commands outside of Org mode available as well. So for example, I can uh, open up an article from the New York Times here, select the text, and then prompt ChatGPT to do something with it. For example, please summarize this text. And then uh, you basically uh, yeah, get the output uh, in a separate buffer and um, can continue working with that. We can make use of these features, of course, also with source code. Here I'm in a Python buffer and I can prompt, please show me the Fibonacci function in Python. Okay, well, that works. We can delete the explanation. We could also have told the AI uh, to only output the source code and we uh, would have gotten that directly. Maybe also do the following. On the region, I want, please generate source code for testing this function. Okay, let's move this over. Okay, that seems to work. And now for another nice feature, when I select a piece of source code, I can ask ChatGPT to refactor it. Please make this code more efficient. And then um, a diff is shown, the changes to be applied. When I confirm, then uh, it gets directly uh, entered into the buffer and the code still works. This concludes what I wanted to show in this walkthrough. You can find the package on GitHub and on Malpa and install it with the instructions you can find there. All that remains to be said is... Goodbye everyone. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content.